What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Once again, we're back in the garage and tonight I wanna to talk about my new ski, the K2 Reckoner 110. If that's something you guys wanna see, stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's talk about the new K2 Reckoner 110, which originally was the K2 Reckoner 112. And actually the whole series, the three skis in the Reckoner series were K2 Reckoner 102, which stayed the same, K2 Reckoner 112, which turned into K2 Reckoner 110, and then the 122, the big fat powder ski, became the this year, this coming up year, the 124. So, um, Actually, for the last four seasons, the Reckoner 112 has been my go-to ski. So this is gonna be my K2 Reckoner 110 and the replacement for that 112. So I just wanna, as you guys see, it's still not mounted. So I wanna just do a little quick comparison um, to the 112. So let's go over a few things. All right, guys, so let's talk about some of the main changes to the new Reckoner 112. First things first, it became a 110. So we're looking at 110 millimeters on the foot here. Now the original ski was 136 here in the tips. Now it's 138. And also the original ski was 127 in the tails. And now it's 135. So you're gonna get a little bit more float out of this ski. And uh, being that it's the tips and tails are a little bit wider and uh, the body of the ski is a little bit skinnier. It'll give you a little bit quicker turning radius with this one. Um, another big change is the spectral braid on this particular ski. So if you guys watched my previous video or, or you're familiar with the regular line, you know that it has spectral braid carbon in it, meaning that um, it essentially the way it looks is uh, like a basket weave, carbon weave pattern going through the ski like this and it gets super tight on their foot, and it gets looser in the tips and tails, which makes the ski super playful, but it has a ton of power here on their foot. So the biggest difference this year is they added a lot more carbon stringers going vertically straight up and down in the ski also, just giving it tons more stability. And what I'm gonna do is at the end of this video, um, show you guys a little graphic from K2 showing the spectral, bra spectral braid between the OG K2 Reckoner and this particular one. Um, another big change, actually, what I've noticed is um, how much more tail splay this new Reckoner has. And what I'm going to do also is um, lay these down on the ground and show you guys a side by side so you can see the difference. All right, guys, and here's an OG K2 Reckoner 112 next to the K2 Reckoner 110. So you guys can see the tip and tail difference. And once again, going from 112 to 110, and the tips and tails are a little bit wider. Now, let me take the ski and lay it on its side so you guys can see what the splay looks like in front and back. Okay, guys, so here's the skis from the side. And if you can actually see the tails are actually turned up a lot more. It's almost a symmetrical ski now, like a complete park ski. Versus before the tails were a little bit more not as aggressive. All right, guys, so this was the new K2 Reckoner 110. Um, I'm actually going to mount these up in the next day or two and get them out on the snow. So if you guys want to see a full review on these, do me a huge favor, maybe considering subscribing to my channel, maybe leave me thumbs up, 
or down, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.